So I think uh, having this Air Force-led uh, task, joint task force capability is extremely important for the future of the Air Force because it allows us the opportunity to display uh, the, the ability to lead in the joint environment, particularly during this time with COVID. Uh, I don't think we imagined when we were building the JTF that it would, it would be used for a purpose like this. Uh, nonetheless, it's allowed all of the folks here uh, at, ta at this uh, task force Southeast and at the JTF to display their incredible ability, the incredible teamwork. It's been an amazing uh, opportunity for myself and General Goldfein to come down here and, and see the great work that you guys have been doing. Um, actually seeing it come to fruition. So we've been talking about it that certainly during my entire tenure uh, as Chief Master in the Air Force and to lay eyes on it uh, live and in person has just been a joy. Yeah, I think what I'll, I'll take away uh, from is the, the level of confidence that uh, our Air Force and the Department of Defense uh, should have in this JTF's ability uh, to execute any mission that is, that is given. Uh, watching the teamwork, what I particularly, uh, I think was I, was, I was taken aback by the, um, the diversity here at this, this task force, uh, the amount of guardsmen, reservists, uh, we had our uh, one of our partners from uh, the UK, uh, Wing Commander, um, and just so just seeing everybody come in from all different parts of our Air Force and working together, uh, whether it's in the fusion cell here in the COP, uh, you know, you, you name it. But it's been great to see the level of teamwork and uh, confidence that everybody has that's working here on the staff. Thank you. Yeah, the message I have for our airmen. Uh, today is thank you. Thank you for the great work that you've been doing. Thank you for standing watch for all of us. These are some tough times for all of us and all of our families. And I just can't tell uh, all of our airmen how much I appreciate the hard work uh, that they continue to do to keep us all safe and to keep our missions uh, flying, to keep the Air Force um, you know, moving in the right direction and being able to do the things that, that we've always been able to do. So. Thank you to all of them, and thank, and I want to say thanks to their families as well. No, just thank you to Team Shaw uh, for allowing me and the boss to come down and spend a little time with you guys. And uh, you know, we're excited. I want to go back and, and and talk about this to my partners in the Joint Force uh, to make sure they understand uh, all the great things that you guys are doing down here. So thank you all, and thank you families as well.